Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 29th of 2025 is titled A Helix Nebula Deep Field. So, what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Helix Nebula, also known by its catalog designation of NGC 7293. This is an example of a planetary nebula, and despite the name, it actually has nothing to do with planets. What it is, is the end state of a star much like our own sun. So this is what our sun has to look forward to billions of years from now, after it exhausts the fuel in its core. It essentially separates into two main pieces. One piece is the star right at the center of the circle there. That is just the core of the star that is left behind. It is about the mass of a star like our sun, but only the size of Earth. It's what we call a white dwarf star. And its temperatures are extremely high, tens of thousands of degrees. In fact, they're so high that the amount of ultraviolet light is sufficient to cause all of the gas around that star to glow. So, the reason that gas glows is that tiny dot at the center and the fact that it is so hot and emitting so much ultraviolet light. Now, where does that gas come from? It's actually the outer layers of that star. So, the, the dot at the center and all that gas used to be the star. So, as a star reaches the end of its life, the core contracts downward, and that causes the outer layers to expand, making it a giant and then a supergiant star, many times the size of our own sun. And in fact, many of those supergiant stars would fill out into Jupiter or Saturn within our solar system. They are so large. Now, because of that, they're also not held very strongly by the gravity of the central core, and instabilities can cause them to be expelled out into space, and therefore now this part is expanding outward and just being illuminated by the remnant core of the star. This material will continue to expand, and as the white dwarf cools, eventually it will not be hot enough to energize the nebula anymore, and the gas will just disappear. It'll still be there, expanding outward. We simply will no longer be able to see it because there's no bright star there, no bright hot star energizing it. Now, in the title, we said this is a deep field, and that generally means we're taking a long exposure. In fact, this was 12 hours worth of exposure with the telescope to bring out all of the detail, and especially the faint detail around the edges. That's not visible in shorter exposures because it's so faint, and the light will be dominated by the central regions. Longer exposures allow that detail, and which is sometimes very interesting for being able to better understand the planetary nebula itself. This also was not taken with a large telescope. It was a 14-inch telescope that was used to image for 12 hours to bring this up. So we're not talking the large telescopes uh, that are used on... The, on the mountaintops that are taking, uh, you know, that are meters across in size. We're talking about something that's only 14 inches in size, but can still give us amazing images and a lot of detail as we see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for July 29th of 2025. It was titled A Helix Nebula Deep Field. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sand over sand. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.